Hello guys, I'm Yagushree. I'm from first year from group 2A. My presentation topic is about joints and its type. Okay, let's see what is joints. Okay, two or more bones articulates together to form the joints. That is called bones. That is called joints. There are 230 joints in our human body. And we'll see classification of joints. Okay, fibrous joints, cartilaginous joints and synovial joints. Fibrous joint in the sense it is immovable joint. Cartilaginous joint in the sense it is slightly movable. Synovial is freely movable. First we will see fibrous joints. In fibrous joints there are three types. Okay, sutures, gomphosis and syndesmosis. In sutures it is present between bones of skull. There are four types of sutures. Easily we can remember like MC, MSCL. It is like metaphic suture, sagittal suture, coronal suture and Lambert suture. Okay, and gomphosis. It is present between lower and upper jaw that is known as peg and socket joints. Okay, it is less mob it is less mobility. Syn syndesmosis it is found between the forearms, linked with strong membranes and ligaments. And cartilaginous joints I said that it is slightly movable. This cartilaginous joints are connected with fibrocartilage and hyaline cartilage joints. It is it have two types primary cartilage and secondary cartilage syn synchondrosis chondros in, in the sense chondrosis in the sense cartilages okay it is completely articulate with hyaline cartilages it is less movement that is example of synchondrosis is epiphysis and diaphyseal joint secondary cartilages joint is it is present midline of the body it is present midline of the body it is also same it as same as this less movement it is pubic symphysis in the sense this is hip bone okay female it's present between in, it is found in female during paturation vertebrae and we'll go for synovial joint it is freely movable joint and synovial cavity is formed this is the diagram of synovial joint and this part is fatty pad and this is called capsule. This is synovial joint and this is articulate disc, articulatory disc. Okay. First hinge joint in the sense elbow, elbow flanges. Okay. This is the diagram of this hinge joint and condylar joint. This is the diagram of this metacarpal and flanges and saddle joint. This is the exam. This is the diagram. This is like thumb joint. Saddle in the sense thumb. Ellipsoid wrist. It moves frontward, backward side is called wrist joint. Uh, pivot joint, superior radio ulnar joint. Superior. This is superior. No, this is back side. This is radius and ulna. So this is superior radio ulnar joint. Ball and socket. Shoulder and hip joint. This is shoulder and hip joint, 360 degree fully rotation like this, okay. And after that plane joint, it is sternoclavicular joint. This is clavicular and this is sterno, so it will combine. So this is sternoclavicular joint. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ankus from Osh International Medical University. Today we are discuss about bones, bones. Bone, all bones developed from mesodermis. Bones is made up of collagen type and calcium phosphate. Function of bones, bones give shape and support to the body, provide attachment to the tendons, muscles and ligament. And classification of bones, bones are classified on basis of morphology. Both are divided into five categories long bones short bones flat bones irregular bones systematic bone and pneumatic bone long bone have more length and width short bone have small length than width flat bone have flat surface example frontal bone irregular bone different size and shape systematic bone present in the tendons example patella pneumatic bone have air filled shapes this is a diagram of bones this is like diaphysis and this metaphysis and this self and this metaphysis. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Usman Kutur. I am student of both International Medical University, first year and two years ago. And my happened in the topic of my presentation is clavicle. Clavicle first one goes in my intra life. Uh, it is also by intra-inclination. Uh, it is beautiful.
bone and collar bone. Uh, clavicle, the Greek word means uh, small key. The clavicle or collar bone is a slender, as shaped long bone, approximately 6 inches, 15 centimeters long, served as a um, struck between shoulder blade and sternum. Clavicle it is a long bone of the body, it is not a flat bone. It is located in the upper part of the chest, just under the neck. Uh, and functions of the clavicle transmit weight of upper limb to sternum and thorax with the hallux ligament, parabocalavicular ligament. Um, it, it is full uh, and lateral and medial end. Lateral end is also called acromial end and medial end is also called sternal end. Uh, lateral end. It is called acromial end because it makes joint with acromium uh, and process acromic radicular joint. It is flat and concave and fairly medial and sternal end. Uh, it is also called external end because it makes joint with sternum. It is large, cuddly, little, convex, and rarely. Exceptional features of long bone, first bone to ossify is clavicle and second bone is mandible. This is the shape, uh, this is diagram of clavicle. This is the superior view, upper view, and this is the inferior view and lower view. This is medial end and lateral end of the clavicle. This is mm, this part and this part is external end and this part of this part is acromial end. Human skeleton and uh, these are ribs. Uh, this is the clavicle bone and this is sternum. This sternum um, is connected with the clavicle bone. Clavicle bone uh, like this is clavicle bone. Clavicle bone, this is the uh, superior view and uh, this is the uh, inferior view of the clavicle bone. Assalamu alaikum. Myself Ihan Murtza and I am I am a student of Osh International Medical University. Today my topic is bone. Bone. All bones are developed from mesoderm. Bone is made up of collage type 1 and calcium phosphate. Function of bone. Bone gives shape and support to the body, provides attachment to tendon, muscles and ligaments. And classification of bones. So I explain the classification of bones. Bones are classified on, on are classified on the basic of their marked physiology. Both are divided into five categories. So we discuss categories of bones or classifications of bone categories. Bones: long bone, short bone, irregular bone, flat bone, sesamoid bone, uh, pen. Long bone. Bone of length more the width, e.g., humerus, short bone. Bone has small length than width. A regular bone have different shapes and size. Flat bone. Flat bone have flat surface, e.g., frontal bone, uh, sesamite bone. Bones present in tendons, e.g., patella, and pneumatic bone have. Air filled space, e.g., uh, this is a, a, a this is a figure of bone. Uh, this part of bone is a red bone marrow, and second is a metaphysis. This part of bone is compact bone, and metaphysis, then diaphysis. Thank you. I'm studying in Osha in first year. Group 2A. Today my topic is about general anatomy. Anatomy. The anatomy is branch of medical science dealing with the structures of human beings. In those we have clinical anatomy, the clinical, the clinical anatomy, the anatomy which helps in the diagnosis. In anatomy we have uh, microscopic and macroscopic. Microscopic is which helps our naked eye and microscopic which is uh, used with the, we can't see with our naked eye. That's it. And the branches of branches of anatomy. In branches of anatomy, we have neuroanatomy, zootomy, photomy, human anatomy, and embryology. Neuroanatomy, study of nervous system, zootomy, study of dissection of animals, and photomy, the study of internal structure of plants, and human anatomy, study of human being, and embryology, the, the study of the fertilization gametes, formation of zygotes. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Halika Ma'am. I am studying GOSH in commercial and medical university. I am studying uh, at this year. Uh, today, I will take about the digestive system. The digestive system continues of continuous mouth 
عن السليبري جلان بنكرياس اوسفاجس ليفر ستومك بنكرياس سمول انتستين لارج انتستين ماوس كابيتي ات هاز تو بارتس في السبيول اوف ذا ماوس في السبيول اوف ذا ماوس تيس اند جامس اوتسايد تو ماوس كابيتي بروبر in front and the side teeth and the gums behind it continuous was vertical superior roof hard and the soft valley inferior flower muscle cover mucous membranes and the tongue Con yes. continuous uh, mouth cavity teeth and the gum teeth and the and the, and the salivary gland and the gums two teeth teeth a primary 20 teeth secondary a uh, 32 uh, teeth a uh, tongue a uh, uh, tongue muscle cover by mucus membranes membranes A tongue, a bark tree, the root, and bud. A crown, a neck, and the root. The explain digestive system. Mammoth. And the salivary gland, and the pharynx, and the esophagus, and the stomach, liver, small intestine, large intestine, pancreas. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rahma Azat. I am a student at Ush International Medical University. I am a first year from Group Two A. I will talk about the digestive system. Stomach. Most uh, disabled part of the uh, GIT position, our part of the abdominal cavity behind the left lobe of the liver and the interior abdominal wall. It lies in the uh, front of the left uh, It lies in the uh, front of the left kidney, pancreas, and spleen. It is a G-shaped organ. The main connection of the stomach is to digest the food maximum. Food stay in the stomach like four hours. And the capacity, new baby 30 milli, about 1,000 milli, younger 1,055. Now I will explain the stomach in the gland. Pharmacus, the pyloric canal, pyloric body, pyloric splinter, laser culture. Thank you. Capacity. New baby, 30 milli, adult 1,000 milli, younger 1,500 milli. Opening is cardiac, pyloric, practice, Uh, or in total, eight. Um, this is uh, cardiac, this is uh, fundus, this is body, this is uh, trubic, this is uh, biluric, uh, this is uh, crystal, this is the list. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Rahma Aizad. Uh, I am a student uh, at Inter. At baby, baby. Uh, capacity. New baby. Uh, this is the crystal, this is lazy. Thank you.